I've never owned an Android phone. All right, so this beer. I'm not sure if you've seen this product before. Um, let's get some lights on here. Damn, there's some light for you. All right, let me show off this beer I picked up. From Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. New Bud Ice Premium Lager. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Our exclusive ice brewing process produces a rich, smooth taste that's remarkably easy to drink. Yo, holy shit, requiescence. What, what the fuck's up, man? <laughs> Do I remember you? No. <laughs> hey, welcome. Is that light beer? I, I don't know. I guess we can find out. I'm, I don't know if it's light beer. Like, what is what constitutes light beer? It's a lager, so it's not rich. It comes in a clear bottle. This is my first time ever buying this product. And I want to tell you about the why behind buying this product, how it came about. I'm going to consume it out of one of my brand spanking new double wall glasses. Is this a twist top? Of course it is. Of course it's a twist top. Nothing against twist tops. I quite enjoy them when they work. And I'm just going to let this develop a nice rich head as much as it can possibly build. Build it, build it. I don't know if I can do much more than that. We're gonna let it simmer, settle down a bit. I lost a bead. It tastes pretty light, so it could be a light beer, but uh, don't ask me, I'm not an expert on beer. I just drink it. <laughs> Play D2 anymore? Oh man, the last time I played Destiny 2 was on the 28th of December, 2017. I have zero of the DLCs. My Xbox is sitting on my staircase. I'm happy to get rid of it. All too willing to get rid of it right now. Although I did have an idea. I did have an idea where I could hold on to the Xbox for like business use. But um, you know, we'll, we'll see. I'll do a little bit of market testing to see if I can actually have the business use for holding on to it. We'll see. Because I like gaming, dude. I, I really enjoy gaming. I had a lot of fun playing with you, with Shiro. Uh, freaking fantasy. Who else? Some of the guys in the Discord server. You know, but a lot of them I've been leaving too. And <laughs> so a lot of the folks who, who knew me, Yeti Eater, as a Destiny player, are just, they, they like, yeah, bye. You know, I didn't push them away. They, they just didn't have anything that they could gain from me anymore. You know? So they left. All right, nice knowing you. Got a massive rework. That's good. That's good, man. Who dis? Who's running uptime here? Elena. Elena. Hmm. Interesting. I thought I was the only one that ran uptime. I might have to change that. Okay, so about this beer. How it came to purchase Bud Ice Premium Lager tonight. Uh, I stopped by the grocery store after coming back from my parents. I took Paul in with me. I put him up around my neck 
and walked into the store, grabbed a grocery basket. I'd intended just to grab two staples, milk, ultra filtered whole milk, and bananas. And I was successful in requisitioning both the milk and the bananas. But then I thought, okay, let me take a look down the beer aisle. Let me see if there's something interesting on sale. And you know, the way I was cutting through the store, the first thing I passed by was all the domestics. And with the domestics, I like to play this game. I like to find out what is the lowest price per unit beer that I can buy. And I found some, this, this was one that I saw, I spied it. It was a, a $5.20 a fluid ounce. Not bad. There was a cheaper alternative. I can't remember what it's called. It's the Cobra one. It's malt liquor. That one was sold out. It was like $4.60 a fluid ounce, but it was gone. And while I was looking at the domestics and seeing what I could get for as little coin as possible, this, uh, <clears throat> This older white man comes over, pushing his shopping cart. And he stops right where these bud ices are placed. And he takes a 12 pack and loads it into his cart. And I asked him if this is a good beer. And he told me a number of things. He said that he'd been drinking beer for 50 years and that he likes this one. He pointed to the uh, Rolling Rock. He said that he didn't like the Rolling Rock. There was something that made him nauseous about Rolling Rock, but this one he liked. He pointed additionally to the 5.5% alcohol by volume here. He said, it gives you good bang for your buck. He confided to me further. He said that he drinks about a 12 pack every single night. He's uh, one of those one percenters when it comes to drinking beer. That is a, I guess you'd call it a true believer in Bud. And he asked about my taste in beer. I said, well, if I like Bud, if I like regular Budweiser, I'd probably like this too, right? And I will drink plain old Bud out of the bottle. But I'll also drink the hell out of some craft beer. I like Houston's local breweries. I like microbrews. I like hoppy beers. I like stouts. I like porters. I like imperial stouts. I like double IPAs. I like everything. I don't think I've had a good pumpkin ale yet which is unfortunate. Yeah. So why is it important that I say that this was an old, older white gentleman? It really isn't, except, oh, here's where it gets good. It really isn't, except that's one of the beautiful things about this country, right? And not just this country, really just most of the modern world. You can talk to anyone and bond over shared interests like beer. And sometimes it's cheap domestic beer. Lager. From Anheuser-Busch in St. Louis, Missouri, now owned by InBev. That's a beautiful thing. But there are some people some regressive ass motherfuckers who think this is not a good thing. It blows my fucking mind. <laughs> so I picked up one of these, picked up a 12 pack. He's like, I left you one. So I say, thanks. Oh, actually there's more. Do you want, do you need any more? I asked him. He said, no, I'm good. <laughs> There are two 12 packs remaining by the time that we're finished. I think he'd got two or three 12 packs into his shopping cart. And I, uh, 
you know, started rearranging my shopping basket, you know, my milk, my bananas. I had to put this thing in sideways and like shift the bananas and I put the milk in. I'm doing all of this with Paul, like draped around my neck. And he asked me about Paul too. He asked me about Paul and if I, if I normally take him with me to the grocery store, if I carry him around like this, and I told him that, well, normally I don't carry him around like this. I do take Paul to grocery stores. And I, I plan to take him many, many more places. <sighs> many, many more places. I think it's a damn shame he couldn't come with me to the state parks, the national parks this time. But there's going to be a next time. He's uh, seven and four months old now. Seven and four months to this day. We're going to hit up some state parks and national parks together. He's not going to get eaten by a coyote or a mountain lion. All right, that's it. That's all. That's that's the beer part. <laughs> uh, where did William end up? William, William, William. Where the fuck is this? Is this in College Station? You, he's still in College Station. Good job, dude. Good job. You should clap yourself on the back. <sighs> Score. Score for William, who's still in College Station. Developing that local network. Good job, dude. Seriously, though, like talking about driving 77 miles one way just to end up over here? Fucking nuts. Ah, shit. There's a problem. Space for the beer. We gotta make space for the beer. All right. All right, Fitz. Crisis averted. <laughs> All right.